Hello and welcome back. I'm making this video in response to the recent announcement that Destiny 2 is going to be released on PC using Blizzard's Battle.net platform. It sounds good, but what does it actually mean? Well, Destiny 2 will feature on your Battle.net account in exactly the same way as Worlds of Warcraft or, for example, Overwatch do. What is more, it will be subject to all of the same social features as all Battle.net games. This is really good news as it has answered one of my major concerns about Destiny 2. I always felt that Destiny failed to deliver in terms of communications and building a sense of community. I was really hoping that Destiny 2 would consider text-based chat, so that I could interact with others just like I do in World of Warcraft. Although Battle.net integration does not mean that there will be in-game text chat, it does mean that there will be a Battle.net chat overlay, and over time I hope that an in-game system does emerge if it's not there at launch. It has also been confirmed that you will indeed be able to form groups with your Battle.net friends via Battle.net itself. If this has full in-game functionality, then it is a very promising start for a game franchise I am desperate to get it right this time. If some of you are a bit confused about how this bizarre marriage is even possible, I think it's worth reminding you that Blizzard is in fact Activision Blizzard, and Activision are the money behind Bungie who have been developing Destiny 2. Blizzard offered the use of their solid Battle.net platform to their sister company to save them the effort of having to develop their own platform. This actually makes a lot of sense, and honestly I think that this will work really well in the game's favour. This doesn't mean that Blizzard will be taking over. All of the game's servers, features and customer services will still be in Bungie's hands, but this is a big deal. Destiny 2 will be included in Battle.net's shop feature. This means that the game can be purchased using your Battle.net balance. That's right, you can effectively farm yourself a copy of Destiny 2 by playing World of Warcraft. All of a sudden I think I might not buy that 2 million gold spider mount and grab myself a AAA shooter instead. This in mind, let's consider what we would need to do to get Destiny 2 for free. The current value of a WoW token when redeemed for Battle.net balance is $15, $17 Australian dollars, €13 Euros, or £10. Right now on my server, a WoW token costs 209,000 gold. Already I can see that good old Blighty is going to get screwed over here. But let's use the PlayStation Network price tag of £55 as a reference. That's roughly one and a quarter million gold to pay outright with Battle.net balance for the UK. For the US, you're looking at $60 at about 112k per token, so only 450,000 gold needed to buy Destiny 2. Totally fair as usual. Clearly this method isn't for everyone, and nor should it be. If I was in North America, I wouldn't have to think twice about using my WoW gold to pay. But here in the UK, I think I'd rather use my preferred game key supplier and only pay £33 out of my pocket than part with three times as much gold as my US friends. If you live in the UK and are interested in getting Destiny 2 on the PC as cheaply as possible, I've put a link in the description. I'm affiliated with this site and I use them all the time when I buy PC games. If you're in America, you can sod off and use your spare change in WoW to pay for it. I'm not jealous, honest. Anyway, let's leave it at that, shall we? I'm going to go put the kettle on and calm down. Why don't you relax for a minute or two and watch the latest trailer for Destiny 2? Again, but this time all the way through with the sound on. Apparently it's got some gameplay footage in it. Until next time, have luck and good fun. Hey Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke... Well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Ikora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Battle stations! Everyone with me, now! taken our home, and now they threaten our very existence. Uh. 
But if we attack together, we can take back our home, or we die trying. Am I right? Am I right or am I right?